This is quite an interesting question. So when they do something like this, just plug it into the formula. So they said it's an arithmetic sequence. So we use the arithmetic term formula. And so let's start with the first piece of information. They say that T4 has a value of 2P minus 4. So we can say 2P minus 4 equals to A, which we don't know. Now that's term 4. So we say 4 minus 1 times D. So we're going to say 2P minus 4 equals to A plus 3D. Oh, three unknowns. That's quite interesting. Then they say a seventh term equal to minus 6. So we can say minus 6 equals to A plus, now it's a seventh term, so 7 minus 1 times D. Oh, now I sort of see how this is going to play out. So we're going to say minus 6 equals to A plus 60. Then we need our third piece of information, a twelfth term of minus 26. So we can say minus 26 equals to A plus 12 multiplied by D, which we don't know. I'm just going to neaten this one up. 11D. All right, so I think what we can do is we use these two, this one and this one, and we solve simultaneously to find A and D. Then we can use the A and the D here to find P. Does that make sense? Awesome. So you can solve this however you like, but I'm going to take this equation and I'm going to get A by itself. So if I do that, I'm going to find out that A is minus 6 minus 6D. And I'm going to plug that into this one's A. So it's going to look like this. It's going to go minus 26 equals 2. And then A is minus 6 minus 6D plus 11D. And so it's going to be minus 26 equals to minus 6 plus 5D. And so if we do all the maths, we would eventually find that D is negative 4. So we can plug that D value back into here to find A. And so A is going to be minus 6 minus 6 multiplied by negative 4. And so A would eventually equal 18. Now that we have A and we have D, then we can find P. So we can plug everything into here. So 2P minus 4 equals to A, which is 18, plus 3 times D, which is negative 4 we would eventually see that 2p is equal to 10, and if you divide, you would find that p is 5.